So we just jumped out of the taxi. The bus was a bit of a scam, it was an hour out of the city, so we had to get an hour taxi. And now we're just coming into our hostel. This lot of... Yeah. This is our room, a shared bathroom. So it's literally just a room. <laughs> yeah. Nice painting. I'm not sure about the walls though. It's meant to be like traditional. Traditional? Yeah, like with the, it's meant to be, people, everyone said it's like traditionally decorated in like Miami's, Burmese style. It looks like they bought I think it's cool. loads of different paints and just. Yeah, but look at this. Looks cool. I like the bedding, it looks very snazzy. Look, the bed, oh, tissues, yeah. what's this? No. Chamber pot. It's the first day in Yangon. We've just got a load of US dollars and... we just uh, had our coffee. Yeah, Lottie's had a morning coffee and we're going to go pick up our Thai visas. I don't think no, I can record the embassy though. Please. Oh yeah, we're going to apply for it. It's so foggy. So we just handed in for our Thai visa, or applied for it, and uh, we saw we were like right next to the number one thing to do on TripAdvisor. That's it over there. It's a pagoda. You thought we'd have enough after like five days of just pagodas, but on TripAdvisor it's got like some of the best reviews we've ever seen. So when we applied for our visa, we gave them like 2009, year 2009, one US dollar bill. Crisp, no, no bends, nothing. And they were saying, oh, it's too old, we can't accept it. Like, they're so funny with yeah, US dollars here. Thing. Yeah, like it has to be like, even if it's got one crease in the corner, they're like, no, can't accept it. But they had to exchange right by. Yeah, so we had to exchange it. So apparently it's five quid to get in. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a lot, but it adds up for one temple entry. Five quid is a lot. We paid 15 quid to see 2,000 temples. Just to give you a... This is as much as we're gonna see. We got to see the temple snail for free. It's got a well weird shell. Yeah. Oh, it's slimy. Maybe I shouldn't have touched it. It's most probably bad flu. That's the pagoda behind me, but we're gonna go to this one here. It's pretty similar, just a bit smaller. Bird flu, bird flu attack. We're not enjoying the bird flu at the moment. The thing that's not very nice is you have to take off your shoes. Seems to be complaining a lot, but you have to take off your shoes and the floor is very dirty, so the bottom of your shoes go black. The bottom of your feet, sorry. got the outside of the temple, then like the inner walkway, and then the inner circle bit. The inner circle bit, you've got like a mini pagoda, and some like weird, it does feel like a zig, doesn't it? Um, then you've got some like stuff on the roof. I'll show you. Be quiet. Yeah. I've got like constellations on the roof. And then on the outer walkway, you have like all these gold statues. I don't think it's real gold. So when you come outside, you've got like a few like different buildings that look pretty cool. This is like your general temple tour. And then you've got the Gold Pagoda, mm -hmm. which looks pretty sick. Oh. The floor's like really wet and slimy. So the local temples feed with local dogs, as you can tell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine over there and loads more new, new. so we're walking down the road and it's just here lottie went is that shy grass and i said no no you're thinking oh you're being stupid and look you ready wait 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 i want to film it it's shy grass that's wicked <laughs> cool if you go up to a bit where there's like a whole bush right look at this so this is all shy grass so is all this if I, i'm gonna grab the stick and shake it 
and you'll see what happens. I oh, look. See this? Didn't see end. We were actually looking at the shy grass for about an hour. I've waited so long to see it. All around China, I thought we were going to see it. And we only saw it sold in pots. Look at that. Oh. Oh. You walk straight into it. Did you walk into it? No. no. Yeah, take your eye out. I think this is a military base here, so maybe I shouldn't be recording. There seems to be a lot of construction going on in Myanmar. Like, those vans back there have got like bushes growing on top of them. And then there's loads of stuff like that. Like, it's pretty weird here. Cool temple as well. Do you want to look in it? We've walked all the way through, um, where are we? Yangon. Walked all the way through Yangon to get to this. It's a big cathedral. Looks sick. Yeah, it looks sick. We're gonna it go see so if we can nice. get inside. I went to the supermarket and got some green tea from China and they put it in this really annoying bag. Yeah, and I got some uh, Coca-Cola. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, it's like a weird drink they have here. Remember when we pretended to Elvis that we didn't know what Coca-Cola was? So Elvis, the guy we travel with he in like China, didn't even care. <laughs> like we were like, Coca-Cola, what's that? And he just started explaining it like it was normal. Like everyone knows what Coca-Cola is. It's locked at the moment, but you can see inside for a window. A lot of the times they've got like a Buddha with like disco lights behind it and they've got the same here but with Jesus. Disco Jesus. And underneath it says Jesus like up like just a little bit. I don't know. There's God up there. Got the white guy. It's quite different in here compared to um compared to the normal church. Oh, cathedral. So they've got this, which I think is Mary. I think it's because it's all for the Jubilee, like this building. I don't know. He carried it off the floor. It's crazy. How's he lifting that? It's got a nest there. He's got little babies in it. Yeah, be careful. Chase, I've chased.